Clearinghouse. Thank you for joining us today to look at Retention Manager for the all-new version of our best-selling product in terms of what's new and what you can expect into the future. So we have recently released this product. I will show you a demo very shortly of how some of the new functionality works. And then in another demo, we will show you uh, the complete version of the software, what all the components are. But right now, we just want to focus in on what's new and different and what we've uh, added to the program. So number one, most important, is we've added Windows 10 compatibility. We will then continue to upgrade as Microsoft upgrades the Windows 10 version. And we will keep you into the current technology uh, so your software will be protected well into the future. We've also enhanced the stability. This is done by adding a different way of opening and interacting between Windows and the program. And every function has been examined and improved. Uh, we've made hundreds of changes, many of which you will not see in terms of your operation. However, uh, you will have a better user experience, fewer problems, and hopefully uh, your programs go smoother as you develop your retention schedules. The templates have been in existence uh, since the end of Retention Manager 3, but we have expanded its functionality and utility. We've added financial services, manufacturing, petroleum, and power utility as the first batch of templates. We're looking at credit unions and others for the future. And we will be adding this as they become available. If you have an interest in a particular template area, we will certainly be glad to consider it for development. In terms of general business records, uh, the new install of Retention Manager 4 will basically include about 80 general business records, and therefore we will have over 320 available for selection. Uh, this way you can go into them just as you do the templates and be able to identify additional record series that are needed by your organization. The new site map will help you identify the various functions within Retention Manager 4 and look at the interaction between each of those. It will give you a visual clue of what types of functions relate to other functions. Uh, for example, that departments can be assigned to user records, and user records can be assigned to uh, standard record series, for example. I'll show you this when we get to the demonstration part. Hints, each of our functions now will have a hint. And by the way, sitemap and hint and templates are new icons that have been added to our toolbar. Hints will give you information as to what the function is about, what it does generally. We'll be expanding this more into the future. And then some other odds and ends. Uh, we've added some fresh uh, new icons. Uh, but it was about time to change our style of doing that. We've added drag and drop into profile. This will be something we'll look at for other functions into the future. And certainly, we've kept compatibility with your Retention Manager 3 data for existing customers. In fact, uh, it, the compatibility is 100%. We will bring over your data, not just your user data, like uh, record series and retention rules and legal groups. But we'll also bring over any custom legal research that either you prepared or we prepared on your behalf. The transfer is very easy. And you can do this when you're running Retention Manager 4. Uh, we will want you to convert to Retention Manager 4 as soon as possible. It's available on uh, the latest update uh, for Retention Manager 3. And in the future, uh, we will discontinue updates to Retention Manager 3 and only move with Retention Manager 4. So take a look at what we've done if you're an existing customer and transfer your data, make sure the data works within the retention 
manager for environment and then make sure you uh, uninstall your retention manager 3 version as you move forward with retention manager 4. I'm now going to take you through a demonstration of how Retention Manager 4 works. Uh, I'll start by opening the icon. You'll see we have a slightly different opening screen. And for existing as well as new customers, you'll be given this welcome message. This message will appear every time you open Retention Manager uh, 4 unless you select do not display at start and close it gives you some general information on how to get started with retention manager 4 and it does show you a brief demo of what a hint message might look like for existing customers we will have detected that you have a retention manager 3 installation and we will give you the opportunity to use our transfer data uh, function to transfer your data immediately to Retention Manager 4. We caution you, if you continue to make changes in Retention Manager 3, you will need to do this transfer again. This transfer message will continue to be available to you until you uninstall Retention Manager 3 in the future. For those who have added custom legal research, either yourselves or we've provided that to you. We also will transfer your custom legal research. I'm not going to do the transfer function now uh, because it will take a little bit of time and new customers don't need to see it, but I will close it for now. This then brings us to the site map. Again, if you don't want to see the site map at the start, you can go ahead and do not display at start and select that and the next time uh, the site map uh, will not open uh, when Retention Manager opens. However, you can always go to the icon on top of the screen and get the site map. The site map shows you each of the major functions within Retention Manager and identifies how those functions interact with other functions. So for example, user records is the location where you would add record titles, an old retention schedule, and you can link it to a standard record series. And by the way, you can also link it to retention rules. For our existing customers, we have ceased to call it records retention rules. We are now just calling it retention rules. Departments also could be added to user records. The same on legal research. Uh, we have the search function that will interact with the legal research. Legal research has a variety of different functions that can be added to it. And profile function works directly with legal research as well as jurisdiction groups and legal groups. At any time you want an explanation of one of these functions, you right click and you will get an explanation of the function. Some of these are pretty elaborate, some are uh, simpler. We will be enhancing those over time. The other, and of course, moving your mouse will give you an opportunity to close it. If you want to open one of the functions, you could do it directly from there, and you can open the particular function. Uh, this is an example of what you will see initially for some of the key functions where we've given you the hint information directly for that function. Again, if you don't want the display uh, to appear uh, until you select hint, and here is the new icon to select hint, you can uh, select that. Don't display until I select hint. Close it and you won't have to display that again. Okay, so that is basically the overview of the new sitemap. New icons, as I said, we came up with a fresh set. We've added three new icons for existing customers. One of those is template, then the sitemap, which you've seen, and then hint is always available at this point for you. 
What are the functions you may not be familiar with is template. I'm going to open template. Template provides you with a variety of items that you can deal with. One, if you have installed any of our special templates, they will be listed here. And you will then have an opportunity to draw data from that. Uh, for example, I'm going to add manufacturing data from our manufacturing template. I open that. And what I'm given is a variety of different record series that we have selected that often are useful in a manufacturing environment. And this includes some of the general business records that may not apply to everybody, like audio audiometric testing and drug testing, which may not be necessary in all environments. But we will then have record series related to plants and facilities, uh, engineering, uh, production, quality assurance, et cetera. If you want to then add a record series, or you can select multiple by holding down the control button, you then insert your selection. And what it will do is it will add these new record series to your project. Notice the statistics that have taken place. We added four new record series. We've added three new retention rules, even though it used four because one was already in existence. Same with, true with legal groups. And then there were some additional industries and subjects that were added uh, for our project. I'm going to close that. The other thing you can do with template is you can then add additional general business records. Uh, you can start with the standard record series or add new rules or profile items or legal groups. You make the selection where the starting point is. Most people will start with standard record series. So as I said, we have installed about 80 standard record series in a new install. You will then have the ability, in terms of subjects, to select additional ones. So let's say, for example, you wanted to add accounts uh, receivable to your project, uh, material transfer files, and uh, general ledgers. You would then select those. They would be added to your project. And uh, notice that there was a record series. One rule was added, no legal groups, and actually nothing was added uh, for profile. The next time, then, you will open up uh, your project, you will be given access directly to those items. Notice we got the message, the profile uh, needs to be regenerated. That is because we have added some new legal research, and therefore uh, we need to go through that process, uh, which we have now completed. So if we open up our standard record series right now, I have a project that's in an authorized state as part of this uh, demo. Remember, we just added general ledgers. There it is. Here is the new uh, record series added, linked to the retention rule. You don't have to create anything. You just take items from the template, and you move forward. Notice also I have taken some manufacturing items. And without you having to create new retention rules, we've added those retention rules, legal groups, legal research for you. You're ready to go. You can modify the text, of course, as you need to. The last feature I'm going to show you occurs in profile. This has been a request for a number of people. And that has to do with drag and drop. Um, it does not add really to the functionality, but makes it a little bit more fun. So for example, you have a, a banking uh, type of record series that you wanted to add. And that needs to be added to your project. So we have an, a, a national bank, let's say, and you want to add a number of subjects. We could press the button here. We could right-click and 
include from remaining subjects, or we now can drag and drop. So basically, we have added a very traditional functionality to just make this uh, more compatible with what you expect from Windows. And by the way, at any time, if you want to deselect, you would do the same thing. A retention manager then can uh, regenerate, and you can uh, utilize those laws as part of your project. So that covers the main functionality in, that's been added to Retention Manager 4. I'm not going to include uh, in this discussion uh, how to use all the functions within Retention Manager 4. We'll leave that for another session. Thank you very much for your time, and we look forward to continuing to serve you in the future.